Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick, simple way to paint out your air conditioners. This pretty much applies to power points, air conditioners, anything that's yellowing and it's gone, um, any plastic that's gone yellowing. This is exactly the same process for all of it. So what we have, we have our eye quick tape, masker machine, nor glass surface primer. You can use this or any plastic primer is fine. And then our Duramax. This product here, it can be used as a top coat as well. You don't really have to use a primer with this, but I always like to uh, just use a primer just to make sure it's 100%. Process. What I've done, I've just quickly started doing a primer. I'll show you this top section that I tape up. Any areas that have got any sensors or glass or plastic, give them a tape up like this. A lot of the time I just I just paint straight over um, any of the wording or naming or anything like that. But on this one, I'm just gonna show you is what I've done. For starters, make sure the aircon is opened up, all the vents and everything are taken down. So, because they can be cleaned as well. Give it a good dust down. We've gone through and dusted it all off completely, wiped it all down completely clean. So what I'll do, I'll just go through now. I'm just gonna tape up this top section. Just measure it out with how much you need. So you just need it about that far, break it off. And then what you can do, you just flip it over like this. Sit it up there like that. And then you just get some tape and you just tack it down. And you just put a couple up just to make sure that it's right. Doesn't have to be too perfect. Just tack a tack like that so that way we've protected and covered all the perimeter around it. Just make sure that tape goes on it. So now the next step. What I do, you will need a Stanley knife. Uh, I used a two edge for this. I'm not quite sure what I've done with it. But anyway, that's it for another day. I have taped it up. So usually what I do, as you can see, I've taped this section up, got my Stanley blade and just cut around it nice and smooth. And then I've just demastered it. Same as this, I've just completely Cover it over like that, rub it in, and then just grab a Stanley knife and slowly cut around your lettering. If not, don't even worry about it and just spray straight over it. So I'll show you what I've done anyway. See how I've just left these. I had a really blunt blade as well, so it's always better if you have a sharper um, blade. I need to get this off first. Yeah, then I can just go through. Like that. So that's that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna worry about these. As long as I've got the wording there, we all know what it's gonna say or what it's gonna do. Um, make sure you always give your cans a good shake before you start and a good shake every 30 or 40 seconds before, um, during your process. Keep giving it a good shake, because your pressure, pressure will drop, and that always usually happens because you're not shaking it. Put your mask on. Always wear a mask when needed, especially with these COVID times. And then just go lightly. You don't need too much. Just nice, even strokes, back and forth. And give it a good shake again, when your pressure starts to drop. Look 
Make sure you have good ventilation as well. If you can open up the doors and windows and everything like that, just to... So there you go. That's first coat. That's first coat now. So we'll just leave that half an hour or so to dry. And then we'll go over with our top coat. Like I said, this is our Duramax here. Dries really quick as well. Uh, doesn't yellow. So we're gonna apply this over it in about half an hour's time. And then we'll get back to it and demask it all. And we'll show you some finished product. All right, we've waited 30 minutes. Now we're going through and we're putting on our top coat. Dries Duramax. We'll start over in this corner. You want about 50% overlap on each pass. I'll go through to the side. Roll across the top now. So that's our first coat, one and two top coats, we'll wait 10 minutes, heat it up again and I'll show you the product of when we're taking it all down and revealing what it does look like when we're all done. Between coats, I'll take this end down here, just go through. Let that dry. This one here as well comes down. You spray that one out as well. There we go. All right, I'm just going through putting our final top coat on. So let's have one primer, one of two top coats, and now this is two of two top coats going on. Like I said, 50%. You want 50% overlap on each pass. Always work from the top down. That way, that comes to pretty much anything that you're painting. That's just a bit of foam on there, just to stop. You can paint, paint over it. Doesn't really matter too much. And then just run across your top again. Pretty much it. Now, we can just, you can wait. If you're impatient like me, I always just like to do it straight away. Um, 
These ones I probably will wait, otherwise to try to get remove them. So I'll do them in a minute and we'll get it. Thanks for tuning in. Much love from the PBJ fam.